and how my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the character, nothing of the sk dead by tomorrow. How are you feeling? Much, much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir, I don't want to die. Hush now, no one's going to die. You are much improved, number 312. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow. I'm not gonna die. Yes. Tomorrow, I will have the guards remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain. Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the royal physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Just relax. <laughs> I didn't come here to kill you. Let's take a look around the room. Black market elixir. This is what he just recorded. She's gonna die. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. She's just gonna die. 
God damn you, Sokolov. There's nothing I can do for her. Leave me be. Goodbye. Alright, time to find Samuel. Luckily, I pretty much cleared out this place. It's the benefit of taking no prisoners, so to speak. Oh yeah, I can't actually go down there. I need the um, whale oil. I'll have to take this way. I wonder if, um... Well, they wanted to talk to Sokolov because she... He talked to... The Lord Regent's mistress. Maybe when he... Meets up with Piero, they can actually work together and find a way to fix the plague. Oh, hello. Sorry about uh, Sokolov. I guess you don't really care. A little bit of sword playing. Never hurt anybody. Well, actually, hurt me a bit, but that's what the elixir is for. These people escape. Escape. Hello, Samuel. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Off we go. I guess. We have the runes and everything, so... Actually, let's just make sure. Yep. The air is heavy and stale. Some acrid powder still lingers in it. Sokolov sees the captain of the helm and the tusk of Leviathan. What did you see, stars? Death. Vengeance. Emily. Is it the month of the harvest? Time has lost all we. Let's get back home. Civilians killed one? What? Maybe one of the unconscious mage or something got eaten by rats. Ah, damn it, we missed a bone charm. Ah, well. Back to the pub. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog food. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have it back. Well done. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. 
Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Perhaps, but yeah. Emily. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in this town. You're right, Samuel. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's hardly a good man, but don't worry. he has done he some good things. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison... Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a I'll humble a craftsman seat. here to serve. What do you have, Piero? Boot stealth. That could definitely be handy, actually. Used footstep sounds. Why do we get two of those actually? Move around quietly. Ask optics could be fun. Able to zoom in a bit. And it's fairly cheap. And what next? Either combat sleep dart or just, nah, I'm just gonna get the capacity. And now we're poor! Which is a shame because actually we could have bought some old some bullets, but eh. Actually let's buy two. Now we're extremely poor. You can help the and Morgan Pendle. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect during this time of mourning. Yeah, the Pendletons are coming. Alright, let's go say goodnight to Emily. Oops. Now, she's in the tower. Let's go take a look. I don't know if she's sleeping yet. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Sleep, Emily. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? I'll never let anyone hurt you, Emily, ever again. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress, but only an exhausted child at the moment. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I try to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plate, instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs, instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Thank you for taking care of her when I'm away. Good night, Emily.
you were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided Good morning. to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. I can't deny her anything. A drawing? A reading. I'll be back soon, Emily. Same things yesterday? It's been a while nope. since I've heard from you. And with the way things are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe. For now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected. Though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kerr, now. We just have to go on living. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Callista. What? Oops. especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. God, Piero. You are a petty, petty man. Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The Dance of Investiture will take place without delay. What the hell are you doing, Piero? Renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be... I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Yeah, we'll see about that. Where did Cecilia go?
Is anyone watching? Attention Dunwall citizens. Be what can it hurt? Just for you guys. Should I go in? No, I shouldn't go in. Actually, I just want to see what happens if I go in. Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. <laughs> Maybe you'd like company. Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. <laughs> Ugh, I feel dirtier than when I started. If you don't mind, obviously I'd like to be alone. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, poor girl. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. First you joined us, then Overseer Martin, then Lady Emily, then Mr. Sokolov. More dishes and laundry for me. At least you make me feel safer. At one time... We used to have colorful bedding. Someone bleached it all trying to kill plague germs. Hmm. Well. I don't know how much... Oh, hello, Martin. The High Overseer is supposed to be the most pious man in the Empire. Living completely in alignment with the Seven Strictures and guiding the people in the religious faction towards spiritual health. Campbell was a farce. If not for all the blackmail material he accumulated, he'd have never been more than a lower level initiate among overseers. Good morning, hmm. Corvo. I believe Sokolov is awake now. The Admiral is with him now. I'm sure they are ready to start on your arrival. Piero, yeah, how you I doing, man? I understand your decision to tell Callista. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize a man of your well-known capacities. You require my unique services. We can quickly return to my shop. I'm fine for now. I have barely any money anyway. <laughs> 